If you own a PlayStation 4 in 2021, don't sell it yet, because there are so many great free-to-play games on it. Also, the PS5 design is awful, and almost all games work on both consoles, so we should all hold our PS4s and appreciate them. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Gromo, and today we have a list of the best new free-to-play open-world PS4 games of 2021 that you can download right now from your PS Store and they cost nothing. So if you are a part of the PS4 gang, subscribe to the channel because we provide weekly videos of the newest and freest games on PlayStation 4. And without further ado, number 10 is Horizon Zero Dawn. This game will be free for a limited time from April 19th to May 13th and if you grab it before the deadline, you can keep it forever. It is a part of PlayStation's Stay at Home initiative and it's a big W for all PS4 and PS5 owners. So mark your calendars and be ready to play this game starting from April 19th. Horizon Zero Dawn is an open world action game played from a third person view. Players take control of a girl named Ollie, a hunter who ventures through the post apocalyptic land, ruled by robotic creatures and must survive and defend herself against them. Eliminate enemies, loot their remains for useful resources. The world of the game is huge and it's story driven, and the graphics, as you can see, are beautiful, making this game one of the best open world games of all time. So mark the date and enjoy the game. Next, number 9 is Subnautica. This game is also free to keep if you claim it before the deadline, and it's already out. So open your PS Store and download it if you're watching this video before the end of May 21. And if you're watching after that date, I'm so sorry for you. Anyway, Subnautica is a survival action-adventure game set in an open-world environment and played from a first-person perspective. The player controls a lone survival of a falling spacecraft, stranded on the remote ocean planet. The main goal is to explore the ocean and survive, while also completing tasks and advancing in the plot. The majority of the game is set underwater, with two explorable islands and a day and night cycle that affects visibility. Adding to that, the player has to manage his health, hunger, thirst, and oxygen. Next, at number 8, we have Abzu. And similar to previous games, it is free to play for a limited time, from the 25th March 2021 to late April. In this game, the player takes on the role of a diver in the open world ocean. After waking up on the ocean surface, the diver begins exploring the surrounding underwater elements. The diver's course through the game follows a linear path through interconnected areas filled with marine life who can be interacted with. Each area have hidden collectibles for the diver to find and progress in the game. Next, number 7 is Scavengers. Scavengers is a survival battleground game set in an open world environment, and it's a combination of a sandbox style PvE and class based PvP, where three person squads fight to survive and dominate other players and win matches. Players will choose from a variety of characters, each with their own unique set of skills and weapons, and have to outsmart and outfight enemies and survive the harsh environment at the same time in order to win the game. Next game, number 6, is ABP Reloaded. ABP Reloaded is an open world game similar to Grand Theft Auto Online. It is played from a third person perspective and it takes place in a modern day city called Samparo, where police and criminals are constantly fighting for dominance of the city. When starting a new game, the player have to decide which faction they want to belong in order to progress through the game. After that, you create a character and start the game. If you choose to play as a police officer, you have to stop criminals and eliminate them to enforce law in the city. And if you choose to play as a criminal, you have to steal money, hijack cars, do illegal stuff and control the city and make your way to the top. Next, number 5 is Skyforge. Skyforge is a free-to-play multiplayer open world game. This game fuses elements of science fiction and fantasy in its visuals and story. Players must strive to level up their characters and defend the planet from alien invasion of other worlds. Graphics and gameplay are solid with awesome character customization and upgrades. In the game you have to fight robotic aliens and eliminate them in order to progress in the story. Skyforge also have different mods like the Battle Royale mod where you drop in the map and you have to survive till the end. Overall the game is solid, you should try it. Next game, number 4, is Bless Unleashed. Bless Unleashed is a multiplayer open world game in which you can explore the vast open world with your teammates, 
or go on a solo adventure to test your boundaries. In Bless, you must fight monsters of all types, ranging from giant serpents and massive dragons, with weapons that you can collect and customize while you advance through the game. You must also upgrade your character's skills and abilities as you play. Throughout the game, you have full control of your character's development, and every choice you make will shape your unique story. The game graphics are outstanding, and the gameplay mechanics and the world are all visually pleasing. And I think this game is underrated as a free-to-play game. So if you like what you're seeing, go download it now on PlayStation and give it a try, you'll not regret it. Next on the list, number 3, is Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. This game is a remake of the original Fantasy Star Online 2, and it's an open world action role playing game that features a diverse selection of weapon types and play styles for the player to choose from. The story mode follows a boy named Rolf, where players have to roam in the open world environment to advance in his story. Doing that, he will encounter different types of enemies and monsters that he should take out solo or with other players using different weapons such as a sword or guns. In combat, players engage with enemies in real time with various attacks. After eliminating enemies, the player is rewarded with points who can be used for upgrades and customizations. Next, number 2 is Vigor. Vigor is a free-to-play open-world looter shooter game set in a post-apocalyptic world. The goal of the game is to stay alive and build a shelter that will protect the player against the harsh environment. Players called Outstanders. They have to seek resources and better equipment. To find resources, players have to sneak or fight with each other in an open map and collect weapons and resources before radiation comes. Then, they have to go back home and train, build and upgrade their weapons and character in order to gain advantage over other players. The game is so good and it has intense and fun gameplay, where you have to really think and outsmart opponents to reach your goal. And finally, number one is Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is an open world action role playing game that allows players to control one of four interchangeable characters. Each character has two unique combat skills and abilities, such as freezing water, controlling fire and many others that can be used to fight opponents and enemies. In addition to exploration, the player can attempt various challenges for rewards that increase their adventure rank and level. And that's it for today. If you want to support our work, subscribe to the channel. I really, really, really appreciate it, believe me. And as always, stay home, stay safe, play games, and peace out, brothers.